try and tell a different story. Find balance and I'm tipping off. Until grandma be Hello and welcome to another episode of Hemi Thoughts. It is now 2016, fall, and well actually it's summer, and it is once again time to record uh, my progression through school. And this episode of Hemi Thoughts, my guest today is Christine, new roommate. Say hello. Hello. Okay, enough of that. Um, let me tell you about my week. So this morning, actually, I moved in to an apartment, and it's a little bit different because I learned that the water pressure is like mild rain. It's as if it wa- water is actually raining down uh sprinkling and i was like oh my goodness okay (laughs) and then um but the location is really great and i'm not going to divulge exactly where i live because i don't want people tracking me down and like sabotaging my plans but uh, i live in an apartment now with three other people in the future and because they haven't moved in yet um and moving in this morning was kind of hectic but Um, eventually everything got put away in its rightful place and it's starting to feel more and more like home already but it's hot as poop out here oh my holy crap it's so hot everywhere and I'm like I just took a shower and I'm already sweating um but that's really good for the skin okay anyway uh this past week uh, I just came back from Canada Canada's pretty cool but it looks better in pictures than in real life and I saw more Starbucks than Tim Hortons, which was kind of weird. Yeah, I feel like there was like a contract or something because there were way more Starbucks than Tim Hortons. And the squirrels are as big as your palm. And I was like, oh, my God, are those like baby squirrels? No, they're full grown Canadian squirrels. And our American squirrels can beat them up quite easily. I think just in our ver- and our squirrels are just that big because we feed them so much. Maybe. But either way, Ann Arbor squirrels are like raccoon sized and then Canadian squirrels are extremely loud and they scream and stuff. I thought that was a bird making that noise, but it was actually a squirrel. Um, And then we came back from that. Uh, I hate Delta Airlines. They suck. Why? Because, um, I don't know. That whole thing with uh, the flight cancellation thing, that was, I had to go through that. And then, I don't know, they're just, they're just horrible. I just hate flying in general. But now I'm glad to be back in America, back on campus, back, uh, ready to go, ready, ready to do everything. Okay, so tell us about your week, Christine. Um, So this past week I just worked. I work on a farm three days a week. So uh, it's pretty hot outside and I wear long sleeves just so I don't get sunburnt. But it's like a thin, thin like flannel. Um, We harvested some watermelon this week which was really great because we would I would like smash the watermelon on the ground and then eat it if it was like broken and we harvest like kale and um oh and I I bought a bundle of peaches a bushel of peaches which is um 150 peaches so I've been making pies all week peach pies wait where are these where did you put them um the farm has like a big walk-in it's like the size of this bedroom this bed uh, imagine a bedroom it's a, it's a size is a it's a fridge the size of a bedroom and so we have like literally like 300 peaches in in our in our our work fridge oh my god wait how much does the bushel cost my bushel cost $25 for 150 peaches was that with the employee discount um they weren't our peaches we got those peaches from another farm but um they were supposed to be 30 35 dollars originally but they gave us a deal because we bought so many. Jeez Louise, I wish I wasn't allergic to peaches. Oh no, I was going to bring peaches home for everyone to eat, but now you can't eat them. I'm no longer allergic to peaches. Can you can you eat them cooked or no? Yes. Okay, pie. I'll make another pie. Did you know I used to have this club in high school I made called Pie Club? And we would literally go to eat pie once a month. And I was president. There's only two other members, and and also I was I'm born on Pie Day, January twenty third, the dessert Pie Day. Oh, 
not not the mathematical pie day. Okay, um, so let me ask you a few questions. This will be a longer interview than usual because I think having five minute interviews aren't they're not enough to really get get to the get to the pit of the peach. Okay, <laughs> first question: um, What small thing usually can make your day? Um, I like uh, when like you're you're sweating, and a cold breeze passes by, and it like feels really good on your face. <laughs> Do you <laughs> that came to mind? I don't know. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's very. I can definitely feel that. Does it matter where the breeze came from? Not from like uh, it has to be from the earth. <laughs> Not like, or like a fan, but not like a fart or anything like that. <laughs> okay, what if it was someone um, who clapped really loud, and then they're, they're like the wind from their clap, like just, you know, I, cool I, down. I don't think that's breezy enough. It would have to be more like um, they like were opening and like flapping a folder at me. Very specific. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Number two, I'm trying to think. Okay. What just uh typical fall Michigan day? What would be your go to outfit? Oh, um, probably like a sweater and. Jeans. What kind of sweater? Oh, um, uh, a. Uh, ooh, my I have a sweater that my parents um, bought in Las Vegas that I stole from them and I wear and it's like really it's like 20 years old so it's really soft I would wear that with like dark jeans and like either either tennis shoes like my converse or like my brown leather boots any accessories um, I wear I usually wear like my crystal necklace so maybe that but that's it Cool, cool. I love the fall. I love the fall, too. The fall is where everything comes together. Layers on layers. <laughs> everything is right in the world. Okay, question number three. Um, what order, what's, what's the order of operations when you take a shower? Okay. Um, first, I either get naked in my room or in the bathroom and drape a towel over me. Go into the bathroom. Then I turn the shower on because it takes a long time to get hot water. And then I get into the shower when it's hot. And then I uh, take my loofah. If I'm really dirty, I'll take my loofah and like scrub my skin really hard just because like I'm, I'm usually covered with dirt. Mm -hmm. And then I wash my hair usually. Sometimes I don't if I'm, I'm feeling like rebellious. Okay. And then sometimes I'll... Uh, exfoliate my face and then and then if I need to shave I like take time and shave my legs and then and then I I turn off the shower and then I pat myself dry and then I go into my room and put on clothes okay that's pretty standard <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing special about that yeah okay <laughs> That was exactly what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then I kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was already expected, but okay. okay. Question number four. Oh man. Uh, there's so many things that you can learn about a person. Okie dokie. What's what? What do you put on? Oh, oh, I know. Top, top. Uh, two songs of the past month. Oh, okay. Um. Frank Ocean's uh, Blonde just came out, so I've been listening to Nights a lot. That's like, I've been replaying that. And also, I I just like got into this rapper named Smino, and so I really like his song Ruby Red, mm -hmm. and it um, it's about grapefruit, but it's like a butt that, that reminds him of a grapefruit, a ruby red grapefruit. A butt? Yeah, like like a... Like, like a, a like a man's butt? No, like a big round grapefruit butt. That's like a baboon butt. Yeah. Mm. That grapefruit. Mm. Mm. Juicy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will 
link the songs <laughs> below <laughs> so you can That's listen good. well except for frank ocean i don't think i'm allowed to do that no. but wait am i allowed to i don't know eh. get apple music and then you can listen to it or or don't pirate it or pirate it. be a criminal okay <laughs> um hmm my favorite two songs uh, well, well you, you've heard the one in the intro, and then you'll hear it the other one in the outro. Oh, nice. um, I don't even know what the two songs are yet, <laughs> but okay. Uh, fifth question, what are, what are your predictions for anything for the next year? Okay, for the next year, I am for... Uh, uh, this apartment is going to get real rowdy every weekend, including Grace. She's going to get so rowdy. What do you mean by rowdy? Like, Keep in mind, I have younger listeners. Just, you know, whatever rowdy means to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? Um, I, I'm going to go to office hours this semester. I'm predicting that, and it's a goal of mine as well. Um, and... Uh, and Michiko is going to um, get laid. Can I say that? Eh, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, <laughs> those are your predictions. Yeah. My predictions, the weather will become more extreme. Climate change will get worse. And everything will just point to disaster. Wow, those are dark. <laughs> And this election period, geez louise. Let me say this on the record. I will vote, and it's a secret vote, but, um, man, this is kind of horrible. Okay, another prediction. The bees, they're dying. Oh, no. And um, the coral, they're dying. And I feel sad about it when I think about it for too long, so I don't. And, uh, oh, I'm going to try to write a bathroom review uh like every two weeks bathroom? so this new project i'm starting this semester is um i'm calling it the toilet papers it's basically i go to a bathroom on campus and i take my laptop and i write a review while i'm in the stall <laughs> and like my first uh, target is the ugly bathroom. Oh, no. So I have many things to say about that bathroom. I don't know where this, um, where the toilet papers uh, will be put, but. Oh, you should do like star ratings, like five stars, like five um, squares of toilet paper. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> Jeez. Well, soon enough, you guys will see a link to the toilet papers. Um, but yeah, that's a new project I'm probably going to start soon. And also, uh, one last prediction. I think I will, I will make one enemy at least this semester. I've been trying to make enemies. Yes. And so far, I think I've been successful. <laughs> But, they, well, I can't say on the air, but I was going to make an enemy or two for fun mm -hmm. because I wanted to have like a friendly, playful, oh, we're enemies kind of relationship. You know how Drake says I got, he has a lot of enemies. Yeah. Do they know that they're Drake's enemies? Oh. Do they like, you know? Yeah. yeah, so I tried doing that during the summer and I ended up making real enemies, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know if they consider themselves my enemies. And then this semester, I guess I'll make more enemies and then five times more friends. Okay, okay. those those are my predictions. Um, last question. Uh, last question. What's, what's number one on your wish list? Um, a, a job after I graduate. Well, something you can buy. Oh, a job after I graduate. Um, ooh, maybe like, um, a, a really sharp knife. What kind of knife? Just a kitchen knife so I could cut into to tomatoes easier. Ooh, I see. 
a sharp knife. Everyone, take notes. Or or just a knife sharpener, if anyone wants to buy that to me. <laughs> knife or a knife sharpener. All right. Well, this has been the first of many future Hemi thoughts. Catch you guys next time. Thanks, Christine. If you're dealing walk back, we'll stay far. We're dealing with jewels and rides. Come some more into my side.